All right, guys, I've been doing this graphic thing a long time and I've seen products come and go. Now, if you do graphic design in any way, you are quite familiar with Adobe Illustrator. It is the primo industry standard when it comes to vector-based graphic design. But now there's a new kid on the block and his name is Kittle. We are going to do a comparison. Adobe Illustrator versus Kittle. I'm Gary, this is T-Shirt Help Desk. Let's get it. T-shirt help us. So guys, let's go behind the hood of Illustrator and let me show you a couple things. Now look at all this, guys. This looks like the dashboard of an alien spacecraft. I mean, it's awesome. You could do illustrations, posters, coloring books, 3D renderings, iconography, architectural renderings, right? You can create custom brushes, business cards, letterheads hand drawing, you can create graphs and charts, and on and on and on. The question is, do you need all of that? There's a good possibility that the answer is no. So Kiddo is, I'm not going to say it's a replacement, but it is a fantastic alternative. And to some of you guys who are beginners, you don't even need Illustrator. All your needs can be met with Kittle. So let's get into it. So here is Kittle. And you can see at the top, you're going to see all these different categories, right? So you can make logo, label, brand ID, book cover, poster, more posters, cards. Aww. I mean, it goes on and on. And look at all of these templates, right? You have so many different templates and bang right here. These templates are made specifically for t-shirts. So many different things that you can do. So we're going to go right up here and we're going to create some surf graphics, right? So we're going to go, so we're going to click new project. Uh, we're going to just do the standard one. Okay. And you can go over here You click and you can put down your text and there's even more information over here, just like illustrator. You can go crazy, but we're not going to start right now. We're going to do a surf graphic in Illustrator and a surf graphic right here in Kittle. And you're going to see the difference. So let's go back to Illustrator. So we're in Illustrator. And first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a circle. Then we're going to have a gradated sunset. So we're going to add these rectangles and we're going to space them out. Then we're going to add the colors to those blocks. Then we're going to go in and bring our circle to the front. And there's a little divot that we're going to put at the bottom. So we're going to knock that out. And then we are going to make a mask and add those rectangles in. And that's going to make our sunset. Then we're going to add another circle. We're going to add text on a path. Now we're going to add our text. This is a surf graphic. So I'm going to add big kahuna uh, surfing invitational uh, championship right there. And then we're going to take that, make that white, put it on a black background. And our graphic is shaping up. So right now I am hand drawing and this is what you're going to have to do in Illustrator. You're going to have to either hand draw things and see my pathetic palm tree. But uh, teacher help this. We also have clip art. So it's a little bit better when you use um, clip art, but that's stuff that's separate. So you have to buy your clip art, right? Or you have to hand draw it, right? So, and I'm just going to go and hand draw some little birds, right? And that little divot, right? We're going to put Waikiki Beach right down there in that little divot. And we're going to add the word Honolulu, right? And then we're going to put something right at the bottom. Hawaii. And there is our surf graphic. And now let's do this in Kittle. So we're here in a new project. And like I said, you can go in and do it from scratch or you can go over to templates, put in surfing and just go crazy. Look at all of these options, right? That's very similar to what we have. We're going to keep going down and look at that. Bam. That is virtually identical, right? So we're going to come back and we're going to copy and paste the, the wording. We're simply going to change the wording that's already there. And 
boom. Have to size it up a little bit because Honolulu is longer than uh, Vanio, right? And uh, we're going to get rid of Panama, add Hawaii, you know, change the font a little bit to make it cool. And boom, the graphic is done. Uh, but now that I think about it, I'm going to go back and I'm going to change that Honolulu font, you know, try to, you know, add a little uh, pizzazz to it, right? And look at that. So now, you know what? I think I want to add something here. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to put in Tiki. We're really going to take this back to the Brady Bunch on y'all, right? That might be too dating myself with that. And we're going to go in here and we're going to add a nice, cool little Tiki. I think I like that one. I'm going to put it in there somewhere. Okay, right here is cool. And instead of the um, green eyes, we're going to change it to match the color um, that is already in the graphic and just like that we are done with a little extra Brady Bunch play. Now guys, here's where the rubber hits the road. Let's get into some pricing. Now you can see the full Adobe Suite is $54.99 a month. That's for everything, including Illustrator, right? But an Illustrator is $20 a month if you just want to do it. Now in Kittle, right? you have this oak plan and it's $10 a month, which really I think that is all you need. The zero plan, the free plan is just 20 projects, a little bit of space and low res to whereas you get so much more for just 10 bucks. And I think for beginners, it's excellent. And that particular plan is half the price of Illustrator. So guys, as you can see, both programs are very capable of making you some fantastic t-shirt graphics. All right, one is doing a deep dive and going in. The other one is quick, easy, all right? And you have so many pre-made templates to choose from and you can just go crazy. So I strongly recommend it as an alternative to Illustrator and to you beginners, I think it's your best option. So anyway, guys, that's it. And also, I want you to check out this video that we did on Kittle AI. It's going to blow your mind. Anyway. I'm going to put some butt on my shoes and slide on out the door. God bless. Do something good for somebody. And if you don't have anyone to do something good for, do something good for yourself. Hey! T-shirt help, brusque.